So, I was sitting talking with my better half I mentioned yesterday. She and I were both intelligence, U.S. Army. And we could not figure out what these destroyers were doing so close to cargo ships in the first place, all by themselves, with no escort. One in the middle of the night, and one, well, it was the middle of the night, and it just had turned over to early morning. What are they doing out in those shipping lanes? And it dawned on us that maybe they're looking for something. That there is something out there that they need to find that they don't want the world to know is missing. And the reason they're being knocked off their game by these cargo ships is that the people who have the thing that's missing know they're being hunted. Now, I know this is theory and speculation. i got a lot more work to do in the research on this, but I wanted to put this out here for you guys to think about. There's this article here from the, the Times, and it talks about these vessels, and what you're looking at here is actually Singapore. These cargo vessels going into areas where there are no ports and turning off the AIS tracks. And it's a really, it's a great article, um, the times.co.uk article, Security Fears Over Cargo Ships Going Dark Near Terror Zones. And it shows you all of the different places these guys have gone where they've just loitered for a day with their AIS tracks off and then turned them back on. And, you know, a lot of it's, you know, drug trade and, and different things. But we were thinking, you know, there's been this fear of this missile from North Korea, this uh, nuclear-tipped weapon. But for a long time, the big fear that everyone had, in fact, one of the reasons we went into Iraq was the, the threat of what they call a dirty bomb, not a full-blown nuclear weapon, but a weapon with radioactive properties. Hard thing about making one of those is finding fissile radioactive material. Well, there's a huge source of this just waiting to be got in Japan. It's all over the place. And now this is just a theory. And my audience has great resources and a bunch of incredibly intelligent, driven people. What if they have word out there that someone has gotten a hold of this part of this radioactive mess that happened in Fukushima and they are attempting to get it someplace or get it up to North Korea. Maybe they're not trying to create a wonderful, fantastic, perfect nuclear weapon, but just something that could cause a radioactive nightmare. Because what's going on over there is it's an entirely different story. There's an entire wing of YouTube that's dedicated to Fukushima. And I imagine probably some folks in my audience can probably um, bring anyone up to speed if they're not uh, totally in the know about what happened there and the continuing problems. But this is Asia. And most of the cargo in the world, most of the cargo containers that move in the world move from Asia to the west coast of the U.S. And this might be what the Navy is doing. They might have some type of a radiological detector aboard these ships. And they're trying to get up close enough to scan them. And perhaps some of these ships are going into regions like up in northern Japan just to get the cover because the ship itself would get irradiated and it would be almost impossible to distinguish. And I know what someone's going to say, well, why would they do that? They die. You have to remember these people don't care if they die. Remember the video that we just watched of the one ship ramming the other and at 3 minutes and 11 seconds we hear Allahu Akbar? These, these people don't care. You know, to them that's a feather in their cap. 
It's just a thought, folks. It is just a theory. But it would explain why the Navy is being so tight-lipped and why they are behaving the way they are because the stakes are so high. Because they have thousands and thousands and thousands of ships, cargo ships over there, and it could be any one of them. And I want to remind some folks of something. Do you remember? This is the uh, ACX Crystal Track. Who remembers this? This is after the collision. Remember the Baichi Bridge? Turning off her AIS track. Right after she gets passed by the ACX Crystal. Who knows, folks? Who knows? You know, there was a whole lot of ships there close to the John McCain as well. And it was a very crowded thing. I'm probably going to have to do a little bit better analysis of that. But if these, uh, if these folks are as nefarious as we think they are, and they look over the, the port rail and they see a destroyer there shadowing them, well, yeah, it'll turn right into them. Because look how the Navy reacts to it. They realize the Navy's not going to blow the lid off why they're there. If it got out into general knowledge that there was a ton or two tons or five tons of radioactive fuel floating around out there ready to be sold to the highest bidder do you know the kind of nightmare that would cause? and we'd like trying to find a needle in a radioactive haystack so something to think about folks thank you everyone so much for the support I really appreciate it like, share, subscribe. I really want to hear what you guys have to think about this, and uh, let me know your thoughts. See you next time.